You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. A very blessed and happy Ascension Sunday. Yes, today we celebrate the solemnity of our Lord's Ascension into heaven. Before Jesus ascended into heaven, He commissioned His disciples, saying, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Teach them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Do you know that this commission is not only meant for the disciples of Jesus then? It is also for you and me. Yes, for all of us. The mission to make Jesus known to people everywhere is the responsibility of all baptized Christians and Catholics. Do you think this mission is only for priests, religious, and trained catechists? No. The commission is for all of us who profess our faith in Jesus. I know what some of you are thinking, that to make disciples is like saying, make converts to Christianity, and you might turn down the invitation of Jesus because this is not easy. Besides, who are we to preach about Christ when we are not even well versed in the Bible? All we know, perhaps, are the Ten Commandments of God and the Commandments of the Church. Another question that might be playing on your mind could be, does going and teaching all kinds of people mean getting out of our homes and spending time for others? How about our responsibilities to our families? How about our work, demanding our physical presence? If you take time out and do this kind of mission, we might lose our job. Yes, I'm very sure the Lord knows everything about our concerns. However, if Jesus were right here beside us and we told him all our excuses, I'm sure he would give us his warm and gentle nod and with a friendly smile on his face, he would probably tell us, My dear, all your justifications are below par. Have you not considered... Take two. Have you not considered your knowledge of the Ten Commandments of God and the Five Commandments of the Church as your significant edge? You said you know them. Well and good. Now, you can do your mission right on. You can teach all people what these commandments are. And yes, you can do this mission by all means, by the way you live these commandments. Did you say you have a big responsibility to your family? Do you have your work demanding your physical presence? Go ahead. Carry on with your daily task. 
But don't forget to live the commandments of God and the teachings of the church. In this way, you are doing my mission without a doubt. Remember that as Christians and Catholics, your lifestyle is a message that show and tell. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.